Hey everybody, this is the Marine with Backpack with a Hammock. In this video today, we're going to look at an innovative company called Sierra Madre that has this unique system. But first, the intro. Hey guys, this is Barry Cajun from Sierra Madre and he's got a really cool system. It's unique. Barry, what do you got here? Okay, this is the Dube. This is our original flagship model. Came out with this about nine years ago. Uh, most people mispronounce it and called it a noob, but it's a Nube. It means cloud of protection. Nube. Okay. Uh, it's a six point tie out. Uh, you can see on the edges here the enclosure sleeves it actually wraps around your suspension and if chris was using a factory suspension it would go into the uh, carabiner right there yes. and it's a water break i have never gotten water inside of a new bay through this at all in any way shape or form and i've been through a couple of tropical storms in these uh, the new bay is a clamshell design it's got a zipper that runs the length on half of it to open it up this is the winter barrier it's a separate piece that it just attaches to the bug net okay and it keeps the wind from coming in whenever it's really cold and helps you keep a little warmer it's good for about another 10 degrees or so inside of the setup unzip it all the way here the bug net is attached on the back it's sewn in okay sewn on that end sewn on that end, that end and a zipper on this side has a pocket here to store stuff too and if you're using our hammock right here on the hammock you would have a little d-ring that you can clip to both sides of the bug net to help spread the hammock out for those people okay. who don't like the hammock coming in around them it's got a pocket on this side also and if you don't want to use the bug net and you don't have the winter barrier on it you can roll it up and it tucks away on the other side and this clip holds it up on the, out the way that way you can sit underneath here to have a meal when it's raining and you can use your little stove while you're hiking to cook and be out of the bad weather and this, you're looking at 2.7 pounds without the compression stack. Most people, when they're hiking with this, they actually don't use the compression sack. They just use a double-ended stuff sack. The thing I like about the compression sack is it actually, the whole shelter, squeezes down to the size of about a softball. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And it's neat how that thing drops down like that. So and you just store gear down there? Yeah. It's a 150-pound gear sling down here, and it's built wow. in. And it's so not, all your gear would be all underneath yeah. you. And nice and high and dry out of the mud. No, we did not find any magic netting. It's actually, <laughs> there's a piece of AM steel holding yeah. all the weight on it. Yeah, an AM steel is... <laughs> yeah, you don't have to worry about that and it doesn't weigh anything. So and This is, I don't know how much weight Chris has in there. And you zip that up and... And you can reach down and grab your gear. Oh yes, uh, whenever I am sleeping in mine, in cold weather like this, whenever I layer down, I just throw it all under me, the stuff that's not going in the foot box of my, uh, under, of my top quilt. Everything else just goes in the gear sling under me. Wow. And it's there if you need that's it. That's unique. Yeah, nice and close. And you say, how much do you think you can store in there? Uh, about 150 pounds. 150 yeah. pounds. Yeah, um, I have actually even seen people put uh, a dog down there if it's a dog that stays I knew still. You were going to say that. <laughs> I, and I there's people seen, that ask about. Uh, I have um, seen some people with their small child down there. No. Now, not spending the night in it, but for a nap. Oh they just put, put a blanket down there and put the kid in it. And <laughs> it takes a nap. There you go. So, you know, oh, look protected. how long this thing drops. It comes. That's a lot of storage. Yes. And you can also set up our new base system and our strata system one hammock on top of the other oh. two hammocks in there oh you can put two hammocks yeah, in there you can put two on one suspension on one factor Th suspension so. that's really unique then, so on a windy day you're pretty well protected you're very well protected and you can even tuck it in lower if you want because you can raise up the gear sling and the bug net a little more than what it is okay and bring everything down lower if you've got a hard wind blowing in the tropical storms that i was in i had the shelter was down about right here okay because uh, 70 mile an hour wind gusts uh, it, it tends to blow a little water around 
Now, you slept in that yesterday? Um, actually, no, Chris is sleeping in this one. Okay, and I you were in? in that one. Okay, and that, what's that one called? That is a Stratus. Stratus. Yes, and that one is a prototype. Um, the, it is in production now, it's just, uh, it's the only orange one that we made. And I really like orange, so I claimed <laughs> this one. Uh, that way our customers can actually buy production stuff and I'm not taking production from them. The main difference between mine and a, a production one is on the corners here and there. There's a pocket on the back side oh. to stuff your cordage oh. in whenever you pack up. Yeah, that's nice. That way you don't have a big knot of things. This one, the gear net, the uh, bug net and the tarp are two separate pieces. And it literally clips in with color-coded clips on the sides. And on the top, more color-coded clips up there. And it just is suspended inside. And you can raise it up or lower it down depending on how much you want. When I'm camping in our normal weather, which is you know 50 degrees and up, I'll have my Stratus up really high, but my bug net kind of low, the way yeah. I'm hanging below it. Yeah. That way I can see everything. Oh, interesting. And if the weather starts getting bad, I'll just tuck it tuck up it under, in. in there. And you can stack one on top of the other in here also. Uh, this is the winter barrier for mine. This is a, again, a prototype. And the gear sling down there at the bottom. That's nice. So the weight for the production model Stratus for the tarp and the bug net is two and a half pounds. And one thing I do want to point out is on my prototype, the asymmetrical lay is exact opposite of the production. Mine, it's catacorner this way. On the production, it would be catacorner this okay. way. Okay. But you can order whatever lay you want. They only make it one way. Oh, they only, only make, make one. it that way. Okay. Um, and, and I have people who lay both directions under it, and it's the main reason for the asymmetrical is to make it easier to get under the tarp. Yeah. And, yep. and you, Understandable. You're not, you're not gaining or losing a whole lot of coverage on okay. the direction of the lay it's mainly just to make it easier to tuck under get in and out we've yeah. got a door on both sides on the bug net on this model so it doesn't matter which side you get in okay so yeah. it's pouring down rain out and you got rain running down the side of that bad boy and the wind's blowing this way you're not going to get moisture into there at hancon we had 30 or 40 mile an hour gusts and some severe south florida rain and i was hung a little bit lower than this and i didn't get wet that, that arch just seems a little bit high it's, to me. But... It seems like it is, but it when okay. you're in it, it, it actually does do a very, very well job of covering everything. Um, and it, it doesn't flap around a whole lot either yeah. whenever you strap it down tight. The sure. only problem that I had was the Florida soil just didn't want to hold a stake very well. <laughs> We've been through some pretty good storms uh, ourselves, so yeah. the rain is always a concern of mine when we're mm -hmm. out backpacking. I don't want my down getting wet. So. Oh, no, 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 definitely yeah. not. This is another new bay. This is the same as the lime green one that we just looked at a minute ago. This is one of our loaner setups that whenever we come to hangs, we let people use. He did not want to use a winter barrier last night. So on this one, you can see what the bug net actually looks like and the gear sling down at the bottom. And just to make life a little easy, let's get this thing out of the way so we can look at everything else. And if you're in an area that you don't have to worry about the bugs, you just tuck it out the way. I like that. And bug nets out of your way. This is one of our hammocks. This is the Paris hammock. This is our 11 foot hammock. It comes with a compression sack attached to it. The material, you can't see this in video, but it feels different than all the rest of the material that's out there. What this is made out of? I, I can't tell you. Not yet? I, no, I, I really, I just cannot tell you because I don't know the true name of it. I, I, okay. It, it's, it's, it's not secret. one of those things if you tell me you have to kill me? No, it's just a secret right. so tight that Richard's not even telling us. <laughs> all um, right. I can tell you this. It is a ripstop. Okay. And we are the only ones who use it. It is softer than all the rest of it out there. And, softer than Hexon? Yes. Okay. And it has a very, very, very slight stretch to it. Not a stretch to where you're going to sink. Yes. When you lay in it, you give it about five minutes or so, and all your pressure points just disappear. It actually just forms itself around you. Very, very comfortable material. I've never laid in anything as comfortable as this stuff. And what's the dimension of that? Um, this one is 11 foot long 11 footer. Okay. and 72 inch wide. Oh, I love white hammocks. Yeah. And the... This is our Inferno underquilt, and we have little toggles that, as I was telling you on the other one, 
You can use the D-rings to spread the hammock out. Well, it's also there to hook the underquilt to in the middle to keep the underquilt from popping out from yep. under you in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. The underquilt is a very simple design, and this one I've got hung low so we can see it easy. It is just a single stretchy strap on each end that you hook up to the suspension. Just hook it on the gathered end of the hammock, and then you tighten it up both directions to center it under you and then snug it a little bit to where it just presses against you it's got whenever you spread it out it's kind of like a bathtub design that way when you lay in the hammock you sink down into your insulation all right is it going to be a diagonal lay in that or uh, i get an extreme yeah. diagonal lay with in that this. wide hammock like oh, that 72 yeah. inches it, 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 i have no problem laying diagonal with it one thing I forgot to say about the underquilt, we do have a waterproof coating on the outside of the underquilt. It's just on the outside layer to keep water from getting into the dry tag down, which also resists, resists moisture. So you don't really have to worry about this getting wet with splashback. You don't have to use an underquilt protector if you don't want to. Always wonder. The top quilt for the Inferno, which was inside out. <laughs> It's a rear entry, has a oh, okay, yeah. hood on it, yeah, like a mummy bag, yeah, and has a foot box down below, sewn yes. in foot box, yes. And I am a six foot tall, 180 pound guy, and I can do this and still Very have plenty roomy. of room. I'm yep. a side sleeper, and I sleep on my side with that rear entry top quilt. I like the hood on that. It's unique uh, and, and for a top quilt, you know, to have that hood on it. Some of us, we, we need the extra insulation up top. <laughs> that <laughs> way you don't have to worry about myself no, included in the middle of the night and your head getting cold. Now with the, uh, that top quilt, how far do you go down on it as far as do you go zero? Do you, we, uh, we, we make a 30 and a zero. And can you get extra ounces of down the moment, in there? No. At the moment, it's just standard. And what kind of down do you got in there? Um, that is 800 dry tech down on when you're using our suspension which is a polyester strap with amp steel daisy chains okay. to properly use the enclosure sleeves you clip it into the carabiner and then cinch it up and that way when it rains you've got multiple water breaks that's nice and it works very very well when you are bunking with two hammocks in it we use one suspension for two hammocks on top of each other. So you have one on top of the other well, for the yes. hammocks. The top one you string kind of tight and it acts like a structural ridge line for the bottom one. Interesting. The only catch with the person on top is you kind of want them to be under five nine ish, not because of safety. So I would be on the bottom and not on the top Correct. with, with little, runner. Yeah, little runner. I wouldn't would want to squish <laughs> yeah. runner up. Yeah. The main reason you want to keep them uh, that size or smaller is because any bigger than that, they're going to get some shoulder squeeze. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And they're just, they're going to be miserable. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want that. Yeah. You don't want the guy up top tossing and turning all night long because they can't get to sleep and keeping you awake. Do you sell the hammock alone? Yes, 99. How much? 99. 99. Yes. So the That's tarp? That's the 11 foot. The 11 foot, the 11 foot wide. Right. Yeah, I'm interested in that. Tarp. Um, this one is 279 279 For the new bay. Does that come with the integrated this, bug netting? This comes on? with the bug net. And with the storage. And the storage already there. Got it. It's all built into okay. one. Okay. The Stratus, if you buy the Stratus and bug net together, the, the Stratus and the shield, yeah. then you're looking at 319 Okay. We also offer, you can buy everything individually, or you can buy a starter kit. We have starter kits that are just like you see here, a hammock and a shelter. We also offer it with insulation. We also offer with top bunk, bottom bunk also with insulation for both of those. We can set you up with the winter setup, which comes with the winter barrier also. Or if you happen to hike in a place where you're not sure if you're gonna have trees to hang from, both models come, you can get with an optional floor that convert it into a tent okay. using only trekking poles. Thought of everything, haven't you? Uh, we try and cover everybody. Uh, uh, make it modular. That way you can add and use what you're going to need for that particular trip. 
Um, also wanted to tell everybody that we were on Shark Tank um, this past, uh, th this season that, that, that's just coming to an end, I would guess, right yeah, now. Yeah, I think it's season seven. Uh, yeah, season seven, the 2017 season, we were on the season premiere. Uh, we did sign a deal with Sir Richard Branson. He is now a partner of the company. Uh, the thing that he really liked about our organization was the clean water projects that we do. For every unit that we sell, it supplies clean drinking water to someone in South and Central America for one year of drinking water. Uh, we actually drill the water wells uh, ourselves. Well, That's not great. physically but, us, yeah. but we organize that everything is really to great. have the water wells drilled. And he really liked that idea. Yeah. And 100% of his portion of the company, all of the profits from it, go straight to the water project. Wow, that is so, so cool. Uh, that is great. That the, the, so. more, the more hammocks we sell, the more shelters we sell, the more clean drinking water we're able to help get for other people. And just a, a way of us saying thank you to everybody. Now, the uniqueness of the system I found interesting. I like how you can bunk the two hammock. So if you have a wife or child that's afraid to sleep by themselves out in the wilderness at nighttime, this way you can have them with you and they'd feel safe. I also like that winter barrier that you can put underneath your hammock. It acts like an underquilt protector. But for you people that have dogs, I find it, that it might just work for that. You can put the dog in there. He said it can hold 150 pounds. So I think that might work for you people that have dogs. I like the floor plan option that you can put on there so you can convert it to a tent with your two hiking poles. So if you're doing a through hike and there's no trees, you still would have that option. Now these are some of the uniqueness I hope to someday test. If I want to get one, um, well, what do we do to get one? Dot camp, Sierra Madre Research com. It'll all bring you to the same website. Just look down below and you'll see the website to that if you're interested in this. And, you know, Barry Cajun, I really appreciate it. This is very unique. This is very different. I don't know what you think, Runner. Yeah, very unique. Uh, very interesting. A uh, little bit different than what I'm used to, but uh, yeah, I think it's really unique. I like it. I like different things. I like trying new things. So this is something I'm really going to look into. So I thank you, Barry. Thank you.